Hi everyone, how much time do you think you are going to spend on questions like these if you try and apply your traditional way which is by taking product rule or quotient rule or applying logs it will still take you about a couple of minutes. However, with my secret magic shortcut, you are going to get the answer in one line and under 5 seconds. Want to see how we do this? Let the magic begin. So the answer to first one would be That's it. That is all what you need to do. How did I do it so magically fast? Well, here's the trick. Let's follow my method which is the seesaw method. Now, what do I understand by seesaw? If you have seen a seesaw in the park, it goes up and it goes down, right? So, same way here, what we do is whatever goes up is going to get you the positive sign and whatever goes down is going to take the negative sign. So, Taking this question one more time. So, for the seesaw method, what we do is we first copy down this expression y as it is. After that, the numbers or the expressions which are up or in the numerator would give you the positive sign and whatever is down, that means the downside of the seesaw would end up giving you a negative sign. So, the first thing you're going to do is copy down any power which is there, so which is half here. And now, since it is up, it is going to have a positive sign. Just copy down this number and then its derivative on the top. Since it is again on the, since it's again in the numerator, so plus and there's a power which is half. Again, you take 1 by 2x minus 3 and the derivative of 2x minus 3 which would be 2. And finally, here, since this number is in the denominator, so minus, look at the power, copy it down as 2 by 3, 1 upon this expression. And then, just differentiate this x square plus 2, which is 2x. The moment you simplify, bingo, that's your answer. Now you would have realized that writing this expression actually took you 5 seconds. But the thinking was much less than that. Have a look. Writing on the seesaw one more time. If I write my y dash, first thing is I copy my y as it is. Inside, these two are on the top. So, they would have the plus sign. Looking at the power, I copy it down as it is. 1 upon x square minus 1. And then for this x square, you get 2x as a derivative. Since this is also up, so I write the plus sign. And th there is no power, so it's just 1 so this is 1 upon 2x minus 1 into the derivative for this which would be 2 and these two numbers if you realize they are in a square root. So I can take minus half, I can take it common and inside I would have 1 upon x minus 3 the derivative would still be the derivative would still be 1 and minus of this but I am taking it common so I can write plus 1 upon 4x minus 1 and the derivative of 4x minus 1 would be 4. That's it. That's your answer. Guys, my channel has a lot of playlists which are helpful for your school exams. There are videos which are specially catering to your CBSE, ISE board exams, your school exams, all the regional boards that you have. Also, I make the shortcut videos for IIT, NDA, Railways, Banking, CETs and many many more. So, don't forget to check out the various playlists on my channel. And for now, Keep now going with the same logic, again when I differentiate this, I get y as it is into, since you see the power is half, so I write it upon 1 by x and if you realize, 
the derivative of x is simply 1. On the top, I also have x plus 4. So, plus 3 by 2 into 1 upon x plus 4. Again, the derivative is 1. Denominator gives you minus. So, we have 4 by 3 into 1 upon 4x minus 3 into 4, which would be the derivative. Wasn't this so quick to write? Similarly, going on to the fourth one, again my y dash would be y times. Now please see there is no power with e to the power ax as such. So I write it as 1 upon e to the power ax. Now the derivative for e to the power ax is e to the power ax into a. Why did I get this a? Well, it's chain rule. If you don't follow what is chain rule, don't forget to watch my video on product, quotient and chain rule. You can get that video by clicking at the i button also at the end of this video. That's how it looks like. Now, moving on, this becomes plus 1 upon secant x into the derivative of secant x is secant x into tan x. Further, derivative further for log x, this would be 1 upon log x into the derivative which would be 1 by x. Now, this is in the denominator, so would give us minus half of 1 minus 2x into derivative for 1 minus 2x would be minus 2. All you need to now do is simplify and match with the final answer. Wasn't this super quick? And I'm sure by now you know you can apply your seesaw method and get this super fast. So your y dash should be y and since you see the square root sign overall, so I multiply with half overall. Inside I get tan inverse x, I write it as 1 upon tan inverse x into its derivative which would be into 1 upon 1 plus x square plus 1 upon x square plus 1 derivative of this would be 2x and minus 1 upon sine of x cube as it is into the derivative for sine x cube would be cos x cube into 3x square. Now how am I differentiating? Again refer to the chain rule video. Wasn't this so quick? It's time for your do-it-yourself question. Yes, solve it and this time in the comment box mention the time you actually took to crack this question. Also, this time is going to be slightly different. I am going to read the best three comments of this video in my upcoming video. So, keep watching, keep commenting and get on this right now. I am 110% sure you guys enjoyed this video. Yes? Then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share it with all the people around you. And if you haven't done that so far, make sure to hit this subscribe button and the notification bell. I would see you with a lot of more concept as well as shortcut videos very soon. Until then, bye-bye.